if you are interested to learn data analysis using power bi check this out from this course you will learn how to convert any raw data into an interactive multi page dashboard to analyze and visualize trends and patterns we will use power bi dax power query and visuals to create this dashboard you will learn how to create this dashboard from scratch in a step by step process now it's time to step up and make things happen break free let's learn data analysis power bi is an interactive data visualization and business intelligence software developed by microsoft power bi contains tools that helps you aggregate analyze visualize and share the data data models created from power bi can be used for telling stories through charts visuals what if scenarios and forecasting in this course you will learn how to use the raw data available from any data sources to build an interactive multi page dashboard using dax power query and visuals power bi can connect through multiple data sources both in cloud and local machines transform and clean the data into a data model and create interactive dashboards using charts graphs or maps that helps in data analysis and data visualization with power bi you can analyze real time hidden trends and patterns and create reports from a large data set that are visually immersive with interactive insights power bi consists of a desktop application called power bi desktop an online saas service called power bi pro service and power bi mobile apps which can be accessed on windows android and ios devices with its seamless connectivity any analysis performed in power bi can be shared with other power bi users within or outside the organization hey there my name is skills i'll be your host in this course here we learn as a team let's do it so what are you waiting for let's get started first thing we need to do is download and install power bi desktop by visiting power bi official website that is power bi.microsoft.com under products we have multiple options select power bi desktop and download the software power bi desktop is free to use however if you want to publish and share your reports with others then you need to subscribe to power bi pro
we have two options to download Power BI Desktop. Let's use the second option. Once the software is downloaded, double click and install the same. Since I have already installed the Power BI desktop on my system, I am not reinstalling the same. Download the supporting files attached in this section and get access to all the files used in this course. Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an interactive supplier quality analysis dashboard. This is a multi-page dashboard with three pages. In the first page, we have added KPIs with details like total quantity, defects quantity, percentage difference, we have compared current year values with previous year values to understand the difference. Next, we have added a visual that shows defects quantity by supplier. This will help us understand the supplier quality. Next, we have added a visual that shows defects outcome and defects quantity count. Here we have three defects outcomes, impact, no impact and reject. Next, we have added a visual that shows defect quantity, current year vest, defects quantity last year for each month. Our next visual will show count of quantities with zero defects. Here we have compared current year value with last year value. Next, we will add three metrics visual that shows defects quantity based on country, category and supplier name. Here. We have added a conditional format that shows if the current year defects quantity percentage exceeded the maximum limit allowed, then display a red icon, else green. Based on the slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically.
in the second page. We have added visual that shows top and bottom analysis. Our first visual shows defects quantity and downtime by category. Our second visual shows total quantity and downtime by category. Our third visual shows defects outcome count for each month. Our fourth and fifth visual shows defects count by material type and defects type. We have added conditional formatting that compares current year value with last year value. Finally, we have visual that shows total quantity, defects quantity and percentage of difference. Based on the slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically. In the third page, we have covered visuals that shows downtime analysis. We have visuals that shows defects quantity, downtime minutes. We have covered downtime based on defects type, category, supplier, location, defects outcome and materials type. Based on slicer selection, our values gets updated dynamically. These visuals will clearly tell us how the business is performing. Now, you might have a specific requirement in your mind and this example may or may not match that requirement which is normal. However, once you learn these concepts, you can apply them on any raw data one way or the other to get meaningful insights. It's all about learning the logic and then customizing and applying those logics on your scenarios to get desired results. Simple as that. So without much delay, let's get started. Welcome back. Open a new Power BI file. Now, we need data to create our dashboard. To upload the data to Power BI, we will use Get Data option. Under Home tab, click on Get Data option. Here, we have multiple data sources. Click on More for additional data sources. It takes some time to load the complete list. Here, we will select Excel Workbook. Click on Connect. Under Download Files, open the folder Practice Files. Here, open the folder Dashboard Files. Select the Excel file Supplier Quality Analysis Dashboard 1. Click Open. Under Navigator tab, we can find all the sheets in the Excel file. 
select each one of them one by one. Below, we have two options, load and transform data. Click on transform data option. This will activate Power Query Editor. On the left side, each sheet in the Excel file is appearing as a query. Based on the query selected, the data will appear in the middle. Here, we will check for any data errors. Common errors will be incorrect column headers or data type appearing incorrectly. On the right side, we can find all the applied steps in each of the queries. Once we are done with checking the data for any errors, we need to apply these changes. Under Home tab, select the option Close and Apply. Now, our data is loaded in Power BI. On the left side, we have three options. First one is the report view. This is where our visuals will appear. Second one is the data view. This is where we can find all our data sheets. Third one is the model view. This is where we will create relationships between data sheets. Select data view. Under fields, we can find all the sheets in the Excel workbook appearing as tables. Here, data table is the fact table or the main table and all other tables are dimensional tables or lookup tables. Since we have data in data table, we need to create a calendar table or date table. We will add columns like date, year, month and month number. Under table tools, click on new table. Add the syntax as Calendar equals var cal table equals calendar auto var calendar table equals add columns. Cal table comma year format date comma in double quote yy YY
month number month date month comma format date comma m m m return calendar table here we have added two variable names cal table and calendar table you can add any name as variable name you need to add it without a space in between in cal table variable name we are using the calendar auto function calendar auto function returns a table with a single column name date that contains a contiguous set of dates the range of dates is calculated automatically based on the data in the model second variable name calendar table is used to add columns based on date column that is generated we will add columns like year month and month number once done press enter our calendar table is created now we need to format the table change date column data type to date instead of date and time next we need to sort the month column by month number column since month column is in text format when we create a visual the data will get arranged in ascending order instead of month order select the month column under column tools sort by column option select month number next step is to create relationship between tables either directly or indirectly click on model view if you notice power bi has created few connections automatically based on common column headers this may or may not be correct let's delete them all using manage relationship option Next, let's rearrange the tables in an order. now connect calendar table date column with data table date column data table location id column with location table location id column
data table supplier id column with supplier table supplier id column data table material type id column with material type table material id column data table defects outcome id column with defects table defects outcome id column data table category id column with category table category id column data table defects type id column with defects type table defects type id column now we have created all our connections in total there should be seven connections next click on data view let's create measures we will create a table under which we will save all our measures under home tab click on enter data option add the table name as all measures click on load our table is created with a blank column we will delete the blank column once we create our first measure our first measure will be to calculate total quantity total quantity is nothing but sum of quantity column under all measures table right click add a new measure add the syntax as total quantity equals sum data table quantity column press enter our measure is created let's delete the blank column next let's create a measure to calculate total quantity last year we will use dax same period last year function for this create a measure add the syntax as total quantity last year equals calculate total quantity measure comma same period last year calendar table date column press enter our measure is created our next measure will be to calculate defects quantity we will sum defects quantity column in data table for this right click add a new measure add the syntax as defects quantity equals
exam data table defects quantity press enter our measure is created next let's create a measure to calculate defects quantity last year we will use dax same period last year function for this create a measure add the syntax as defects quantity last year equals calculate defects quantity comma same period last year calendar table date column press enter our measure is created Our next measure will be to calculate percentage difference current year. We will compare defects quantity measure with total quantity measure. Right click add a new measure. Add the syntax as percentage difference current year equals divide defects quantity measure comma total quantity measure press enter our measure is created change the format to percentage with two decimal places next let's create a measure to calculate percentage difference last year we will compare defects quantity last year measure with total quantity last year measure create a measure add the syntax as percentage difference last year equals divide defects quantity last year comma total quantity last year press enter our measure is created change the format to percentage with two decimal places our next measure will be to calculate status current year we will check if the defects quantity is more than the maximum allowed percentage let's say if 2 percentage is the allowed defects quantity and if the actual defects quantity is greater than 2 percentage then a red color icon should appear else a green color icon should appear for icons you can either search for unichar icons on google or you can use built in icons let's see it in google first search unichar icons in google open the first link below we will find colored icons
you can just right click to copy it and then paste it in your syntax. Another way is to use the built-in icon list in Microsoft. Use the keyboard shortcut key, Windows key plus full stop key. A list of icons appear. You can just double click on them to use them. Now, right click, add a new measure. Add the syntax as status current year equals var division equals divide defects quantity measure, comma total quantity measure var div status equals if division greater than 0 0.02 then red color icon else green color icon return div status press enter our measure is created copy the syntax Now, let's create a measure to calculate status last year. Right click, create a new measure. Paste and modify the syntax as status last year equals var division equals divide defects quantity last year. comma total quantity last year var div status equals if division greater than 0 0.02 then red else green return div status press enter our measure is created Next, let's create a measure to calculate zero defects quantity current year. This is nothing but total quantity minus defects quantity. Right click, create a measure, add the syntax as zero defects quantity current year equals Total quantity minus defects quantity. Press enter. Our measure is created. Next, let's create a measure to calculate zero defects quantity last year. We will use DAX 
same period last year function for this. Right click, create a measure, add the syntax as zero defects quantity last year equals calculate zero defects quantity current year comma same period last year calendar table date column press enter our measure is created now we have created all our measures. We will learn more about this dashboard in the next video. Welcome back. In this video, let's add visuals to make this dashboard vibrant. Select report view. Let's name the first sheet as overview. Our first visual will be to display total quantity using the total quantity measure. Select a card visual. Drag and drop total quantity measure to it. Change the decimal place to 2. Change the callout value font size to 20 and font style to DIN. Change the category label font size to 11 and font style to DIN. Add a shadow effect and a borderline. Resize the visual. Next. Duplicate the visual two more times. Clear the existing selection. We will add defects quantity measure and percentage difference current year measure to it. Duplicate the visual one more time. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop status current year measure to it. Now, add a shape. Change the background color to black. Send it backwards.
we have the result. Add a new card visual. Drag and drop the measure. Total quantity last year to it. Change the background color to black. Font color to white. Change the callout value, font size to 15, font style to DIN. Change the category label, font size to 10 and font style to DIN. Add a shadow effect. Duplicate the visual three more times. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop the measure, defects quantity last year and percentage difference last year to it. In the fourth visual, drag and drop the measure, status last year to it. Once done. Select all the visuals using keyboard shortcut key Ctrl plus A and group them together. We have the result. Next, add a text box above as Supplier Quality Analysis Change the font style to Arial Font size to 18 Change the transparency to 100%. Our next visual will show defects count by supplier. Select a clustered column chart. Drag and drop supplier column from supplier table to x axis. Defects quantity measure to Y axis.
add a data label, change the font size. Add a title as Defects Quantity by Supplier. Change the column color to orange. Add a shadow effect. Our next visual will show defects outcome and count of defects quantity. Duplicate the visual. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop defects outcome column from defects outcome table to x axis. Month column from calendar table to x axis. Defects quantity measure to y axis. Remove the blank values and zero defects values. Change the column colors. Change the title as Defects Outcome West Count. We have the result. Our next visual will show Defects quantity, current year and last year by month. Duplicate the visual. Change the chart type to a ribbon chart. Clear the existing selection. 
ட்ராக் அண்ட் ட்ராப் மந்த் காலம் ஃப்ரம் கேலண்டர் டேபிள் டு எக்ஸ் ஆக்சஸ் டிஃபெக்ட்ஸ் குவான்டிட்டி மெஷர் டு ஒய் ஆக்சஸ் டிஃபெக்ட்ஸ் குவான்டிட்டி லாஸ்ட் இயர் மெஷர் டு ஒய் ஆக்சஸ் Change the ribbon colors. Add a data label and orientation will be vertical. Title will be Defects Quantity and Defects Quantity last year by month. our visual is created our next visual will show zero defects quantity current year and last year from visualizations select a card visual drag and drop the measure zero defects quantity current year to it decimal place will be 2 change the background color to black font color to white Change the font size between 25 and 30 for call out value and 10 and 12 for category label. add a shadow effect duplicate the visual clear the existing selection 
drag and drop the measure. Zero defects quantity last year to it. We have the result. Next, let's create a visual that shows defects quantity by country, category and supplier. We will use a matrix visual for this. Select a matrix visual. Drag and drop location column from location table to rows. Defects quantity measure to values. Total quantity measure to values. Status current year measure to values. Font style will be DIN and font size will be 10. Change the style to alternating rows. Add a title as Defect Status by Country. Add a shadow effect. Duplicate the visual two more times. Clear the existing selection. In the second visual, replace location column by category column. Change the title as Defect Status by Category.
in the third visual. Replace location column by supplier column. Change the title as Defect Status by Supplier. Once done, let's add a slicer. Select a slicer from visual. Drag and drop ear from calendar table to it. Add a shadow effect. Change the orientation to horizontal. Now, based on slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically. Simple as that. In the next video, we will cover more visuals and add additional pages to this dashboard. Welcome back. In this video, we will work on the second page of our dashboard. In this page, we will add visuals that shows 
टॉप या बॉटम एनालिसिस एड ए न्यू पेज एट द नेम एस टॉप या बॉटम एनालिसिस Our first visual will show defects quantity and downtime by category. From visuals, select a scatter chart. Drag and drop category column from category table to values. Defects type column from defects type table to values defects quantity measure to x axis category column from category table to legend Change the background color to a shade of black and font color to white. Add a title as Defect Quantity and Downtime by Category. Increase the marker size.
add a shadow effect. Our next visual will show total quantity and downtime by category. Duplicate the visual. Replace Defects Quantity Measure with Total Quantity Measure Change the title as Total Quantity and Downtime by Category We have the result. Next, let's create a visual that shows defects outcome count based on months. Select a ribbon chart. Drag and drop month column from calendar table to x axis. Defects quantity measure to y axis. Defects Outcome column from Defects Outcome table to Legend. Add a shadow effect and a borderline. Add data labels. Add a title as Monthly Count Defects Outcome. Add a shadow effect and a borderline. Adjust the font size and font style. Remove the blank values. We have the result. Next, let's add a visual that shows defects count by materials. Select a matrix visual. Drag and drop material type column from material type table to rows. Total quantity measured to values.
defects quantity measure to values percentage difference current year measure to values status current year measure to values status last year measure to values and a shadow effect and a borderline adjust the font size and font style Add a title as Defects Details by Materials. We have the result. Next, let's add a visual that shows defects count based on defects type. Duplicate the visual. Replace materials type column with defects type column. Change the title as defects details by defects type. We have the result.
Next, let's add three visuals. One for total quantity, one for defects quantity, and one for percentage difference current year. Select a card visual. Drag and drop. Total quantity measured to it. Change the font size to 30 and font color to white. Change the background color to orange. Add a shadow effect. Duplicate the visual. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop. Defects quantity measured to it. Duplicate the visual again. Change the background color to black. Font color to white. Clear the existing selection. Drag and drop. Percentage difference current year to it. Next, select one more card visual. Drag and drop status current year measured to it. Change the background transparency to 100%. Reduce the font size and place it above the last visual. Next, let's add slicers. Our first slicer will be to filter by category. Select a slicer. Drag and drop. 
category column from category table to fields. Change the font size and font style. Add a shadow effect. Duplicate the slicer. Our second slicer will be to filter by ear. Clear the existing selection and then drag and drop ear column to fails. We have the result. Now, based on the slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically. Simple as that. We will learn more about this dashboard in the next video. Welcome back. In this video, we will add one more page to our dashboard. Add one more page. Let's name it Downtime Analysis. Here. We will focus on visuals that shows downtime in minutes based on defects type, category, supplier, location, materials type and defects outcome. Let's add them one by one. Our first visual will be to display defects quantity. Duplicate the card visual from prior page. Clear the existing selection. In the first visual, drag and drop defects quantity measure. In the second visual, drag and drop downtime minutes column values from data table. We have the result. Copy and paste the ES slicer from previous page. Click on Sync. Next, let's create a visual that shows Downtime minutes by defects type. Select the area chart. Drag and drop defects type column from defects type table to x axis.
downtime minutes column from data table to y axis add markers add data labels change the font style and font size Change the area color. Add a shadow effect and a borderline. Add a title as Downtime Minutes by Defects Type. We have the result. Our next visual will show downtime minutes by category. We will use the same visual. Duplicate the visual. Replace defects type column with category column from category table. Change the area chart color. Change the title as Downtime Minutes by Category.
we have the result. Our next visual will show downtime minutes by supplier. We will use the same visual. Duplicate the visual. Replace category column with supplier column from supplier table. Change the title as downtime minutes by supplier. We have the result. Our next visual will show downtime minutes by location. We will use the same visual. Duplicate the visual. Replace supplier column with location column from location table. Change the title as Downtime Minutes by Location. We have the result. Our next visual will show Downtime Minutes by Material Type. Duplicate Defects Type Visual. Replace Defects type column with materials type column from materials type table. Change the title as Downtime Minutes by Material Type. We have the result. Our next visual will show Downtime Minutes by Defects Outcome. We will use the same visual. Duplicate the visual. Replace Material Type column with Defects Outcome column. We have the result. Change the title as Downtime Minutes by Defects Outcome. Save the file. Power BI files are saved in PBIX format. Now, we have created all our visuals. Let's see how it works. We 
Based on the slicer selection, our data gets updated dynamically. Simple as that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a new way to analyze and visualize your data using Power BI. See you again in another tutorial. Save and close the PBIX file. Until next time, you take care. Hey, congratulations! You have learned a new skill today. Now, it's time to take action. You need to start applying your new learnings at your workspace data to create impressive and dynamic data models, reports and dashboards. Your new skill set will help you stand out from the crowd and get noticed by the top management. Anytime you are stuck with doubts, we are there to help you. Your success and feedback is our motivation to create better contents. Until next time, you take care.